I hope you enjoyed the 10 secrets on how to become a highly effective speaker that I sent to you yesterday. Here it is, the one secret that I promised you that will make it so much easier to deliver, prepare and present your next presentation. What you need to do to make it easier is give yourself permission to give a great presentation. Now, what does that mean? Well, how often have you seen someone walk out and say, oh, you know, please bear with me, I'm not very good at public speaking, or set up an apology in that sort of way when they stand to speak? Or you see it amongst your colleagues when they're preparing their presentations. Oh, I've got to do this presentation, I hate giving presentations, I've got to do it, I've got to do it. When you take this attitude towards preparing and delivering a presentation, is there any wonder you don't give yourself a great presentation? Give yourself permission to go out and give a great presentation. Adopt the mindset of, I'm the leader, I know what's going on, and I know how to get my message across. Let's take a look at this. Where do we see this in practice? Look at your great sporting performers. You know, your Tiger Woods, your Mark Webbers in the Formula One. When they go out to perform, do they go out and say, oh geez, I hope I can achieve what I want to achieve? Or does Tiger Woods go out there knowing, I am the best golfer in the world, I know how to hit the golf ball, and I can achieve what I want to achieve? Sure, his rankings have fallen over the last few years, and we all know why that is. But he still goes out there with the same mental attitude that allows him to achieve what it is that he's after. He gives himself permission to succeed the way that he does. Next time you're preparing your presentation, give yourself permission to prepare a great presentation, to deliver a great presentation, and to be the leader that you know you are. I'll speak to you soon. Uh, hi Darren, it's David Bankovich with Sea Logistics, just uh, following up from the course from three weeks ago, loved it, really found it helpful and certainly uh, a little surprise to me was that it's also come to use on teleconference calls, so I've used a lot of the learnings as well in regards to the way of using stories and the way to structure the meeting to actually get the engagement of the people and, and that's worked really well. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very positive about that and how you can potentially uh, take it to the next level uh, and want to work that with you, Darren. So, yeah, just thought I'd give you that feedback and also have a quick discussion on taking it to the next level. Cheers.